Well, the 2013 Major League Lacrosse Draft is in the books, Quint, and instant analysis. We literally just finished hearing the 64th pick, but always important to try and pick winners and losers. Organizations that came into tonight with a plan, went through that plan, made the correct picks. Obviously, we don't know because of a season that's ahead in the collegiate game, but first look at it. Who's a couple teams that you thought really did a nice job tonight? Strong senior class overall and a very deep draft. To me, uh, two teams that, that did the best. Uh, Ohio, last year they won two games and lost 12. Uh, they had a lot to gain here with four picks in the top 13. Peter Baum out of Colgate, the Tuarton winner, that was a no-brainer. But I really like what they did with their next three picks. Logan Schuss out of Ohio State, goal scorer, very skillful. Marcus Holman gives him the option to play attack or midfield. And then Chase Carrera, who can face off and run a normal shift in offense. I think it'll be a matchup issue for other teams because of his speed. And then Hamilton. Hamilton had a ton of picks in this draft. I, I really like what they did with about their first six picks. Chris LaPierre, stud. Josh Hawkins, stud defensive midfielders. Just throw those two guys out there. John Hawes, do-it-all midfielder out of Maryland. Great in the assist department. You get Casey Carroll, a first-team All-American, back in 2007 at number 18. Good value there. Garrett Thule, you know him, goal-scoring beast. He's like Shrek from, <laughs> from, from Army, scored 39 goals last year. And then Reed Acton, who played for Team Canada uh, and Loyola. Uh, I, I like what Hamilton and Ohio did. Negatives, I think we both agree that Rochester didn't quite have the draft that they needed. 7-7 seven and seven last year. Uh, I just don't see much there. You know, Dave Lawson, I like. John Rannigan, I'm not sure he can score goals in this league. I think they got good value for Zach Palmer at 60. But there were some, some strange picks. We'll see that, how that pans out for Rochester. And we should mention New York. Not a lot of picks because of some trades, but they, they did a lot this weekend. When you think about it, David Earl, Steve Waldeck, and Mark Matthews are now L New York Lizards. That's got to make them a winner at some point. I, I think picking up David Earl in itself for the fifth round collegiate draft pick would have been a win. You throw in Steve Waldeck for free. Uh, that does not make a lot of sense for me for Hamilton. There must be something going on there with some kind of travel issues with, with Earl or Waldeck, the Long Island native, wanting to get back for New York. But, but New York did really well in that deal. And then you got Mark Matthews. Remember, the centerpiece of the New York roster is going to be Rob Pinnell. His distribution skills to a guy in the left wing like Matthews could be downright scary. I think New York uh, improved their overall uh, offense. Always an interesting night. Obviously, a lot still needs to play out with the college season still ahead of us, but it should be interesting. Remember, the season kicks off April 27th. We'll see you then.